What it do? It's your boy AP, the livest nigga on the net, coming live and direct. AP short for apotheosis. Let's get into it. But yeah, man, Troy Ave penned an open letter to Banger's mom, basically apologizing, trying to set some things straight the best he can. You know what I mean? Probably can't really come around him like that right now. But he penned an open letter, which I think was a stand-up move. It showed good character. It showed that he was humbling himself. I think that showed that, and that's a good move, man. In this day and age where motherfuckers don't give a care, fuck about character and all the, the intangible shit, motherfuckers don't care about money and flashing and showing up, projecting shit, that was a good character move, man. I think he truly had love for Banga, man. I think he did, man. He didn't have to do this. He didn't have to pin this open letter, leaving himself open for way more ridicule because, you know, people already find it cool to hate on Troy Ave, <laughs> which I still, like I said in another video, don't really understand. Why the hate is so fierce towards the young brother? Like, he just, he out here doing what y'all love. Y'all be loving that thug and street stereotypical shit. And he back it up, you know what I mean? And I ain't heard nobody refute the street character. But anyway, we ain't gonna get into all that. I think it was because Charlemagne and Taxstone kind of made it popular to hate on the young dude, man. You know what I mean? And then it went, you know, once the neck get a hold of something, it go viral. It's, it's, it can be ugly. But yeah, he just, he just said some stuff, some, some highlights. He was just saying how when the situation popped off, he didn't have proper time to mourn. He got locked up. He got shot and locked up immediately. And he didn't have limited contact. You know what I mean? He had to sit down for about two months. He didn't have contact with anybody. So when he did come out and he did that Breakfast Club interview, he was just talking about how basically he was basically he was defensive. Which is the way I felt. He had been getting attacked on all angles. He wanted to lay it out. He wanted to lay out everything he said. And the interview might not have been perfect, but you know. I got the gist of what he was saying. I don't, I don't. I didn't think it was a bozo interview. I didn't think he was really trying to glorify shit. I know, like I said before, he a little extra. He thought he might put a ten on twenty, but he's a street dude. I mean, but he's an entertainer slash street dude. So of course he gonna put a little extra on it and use that to his advantage. To same way Pac did, <laughs> he gonna use it to his advantage to try to increase sales and just and just increase his own persona. I mean, that's just what that's just is what it is. I don't really see nothing wrong with that either. Like I said, I didn't feel like he was being disrespectful. The, ever was disrespectful in that interview. Uh, also in the letter, he was just he talked about, um, like I said, he just wanted to play for a headstone for his boy casket, put a headstone on his boy burial plot. Uh, he said how he spoke to Trife, but that didn't go well. He said he wasn't sure if she was aware of that. So basically it was just him just being very respectful to his mom and just trying to show that I, I love, got genuine love for Banga. I want to reach out to y'all. I don't want this dragged out. He basically saying, basically with this letter, he's basically showing that he do want to have men. He do want to try to mend things because I don't. He don't have to. You know what I mean? He can say it is what it is because he, like you said in, in the beginning of the letter, he didn't really know his mother like that, Banga's mother like that for whatever reason. And he was like, even in the beginning, he was like, I can't really call you moms because I didn't never met you. I never didn't know you like that. But like he said, all his homeboys call his people his mother moms because, you know, he introduced them and they meet and they meet his mother. So that could be something that could be the reason he never met Troy, never met his mother. That could be a whole nother story. I don't really know. But I think he had genuine love for the dude, man. And I just wanted to get that out there, man. I think this is an up and an open. This open letter was a stand up move. It showed good character, good morals in an industry where a lot of the motherfuckers have shitty morals, shitty character and don't care about character. Motherfuckers doing anything for money, anything for fame. So, uh, the more of this situation, I wasn't really even, I wasn't really even aware of Troy F too much till like right before the situation had, maybe a little bit before it. But the more I'm, the more I'm seeing it, the more I'm, I'm liking the dude. Like, I, I see the authenticness in him. So, that's it, man. I just wanted y'all to, wanted to give y'all that heads up. Y'all go check out the open letter, man. He pinned it on IG. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Give me a holler. Let's build this. AP, the livest nigga on the net, coming live and direct. The AP is short for apotheosis. Get at me, y'all.